Yo, I'm Matt Forio, and this is Chisel This. All right, I might look a little different today, but there's a reason for that because right now I'm sitting at my desk where I write all of my raps. Yes, this is also the desk where I produce all of my raps. So naturally we are going to write and produce a rap together. Okay, let's do this. The purpose of this video is to expose you to the process of how I put all the puzzle pieces together when I write a song. It's also about finding those puzzle pieces. I'm gonna do that live for you right now so that you can see that. Hopefully you take little pieces of this and maybe try to apply it to the way that you write raps. This being the first time I'm ever doing anything like this, it's just going to be a generic, cypher, ordinary, braggadocio rap. That is the most basic, rudimentary version of this video that I can make. If you like this video, let me know and I will potentially do more in the future, such as challenge raps and then thematic raps as well. And those help you find your puzzle pieces a little bit better first, but today, they're gonna be a little all over the place. And the point of the cipher is to just come up with things about yourself that represent who you are, and then also make claims, whether exaggerated or factual, that say how good of a rapper you are. So we're gonna do that. You know, people ask me all the time, they say, how do you start a song? You don't need to lock yourself into a method in starting your song. You can really start your song wherever the song happens to start. So that means that if you have the idea for the song first, then that's where your idea starts. Or I don't really have a broad stroking theme for this song right now, so I'm actually gonna start elsewhere. I'm gonna start with the instrumental. Another good thing for you to do is to create the instrumental and the rap at the same time so that you can allow the instrumental to move with the emotional tide of your rap. Also, the emotional tide of the rap can influence the way you build the song. Right now, I'm working in Logic Pro. It is a paid program, but the free version of it is GarageBand, and you can find that on Mac computers. What they have here are these glorious, royalty-free loops for you to use. A loop just means that it's four or eight bars of uh, an arrangement of sounds that they have created so that if you were to extend them over periods of time They would be never ending. So we're gonna look through the beats. I do have a couple favorited right here You can also adjust the beats per minute up here, which controls how fast or slow your song is You are also in control of how fast or slow your rap goes You can use a really fast BPM and then drag yourself out along it or you can do a slow BPM and then riddle within the four or eight bars just do a lot all at the same time. I like this, but it's a little fast. Let's try turning it down. All right, I like that. Now we're gonna loop this. Every song is, for the most part, predicated on a four bar structure. That means one and two and three and four. And that repeats over and over again. And intervals of four are what makes the song feel complete. So it would be one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And if you were to do that over again, you'd have a complete thought. And then that's the point where you want to change the beat. So we're going to use synthesizers to overlay on top of the beat to create our melody. Okay, I like that. All right, I can dig that, but we're gonna need something else to layer behind that. This thing is called Hang Tight Chords. So I'm gonna see if the software itself has anything else that is called Hang Tight, and it does. These were likely produced together, which is why I'm going to try to incorporate them into the beat because naturally they fit well. I like that. It's not too loud, but it definitely helps underscore the beat and feel more full. The good thing about this program is that even though all of the loops are originally created in different keys, when you have the project set to a specific key, all of the loops will be in that key. So I can literally drag anything from the loop library into this project and it will naturally sound like it belongs there. But now that I have my basic beats per minute locked in and I have sort of a melody going, I'm gonna pause the beat making and now start working on the lyrics. What I like to do is use Google Drive. Anything you create on here belongs to the cloud. It can be accessed from any device. But for right now, what you wanna do is get all of the best ideas you have on paper. For this, I'm not gonna be using my best ideas because I want them to be saved for something 
better. Something that I do, and it's a practice I encourage you to follow, is every time you think of something, whether it's a concept or a word that you would like to use or a rhyme, then you write that down so you don't forget it. It's very likely you'll forget it if you don't write it down fast enough, so. I have a bunch of notes. This morning I woke up and for some reason I had the word crawl space in my head. It's a compound word that's two syllables. Because of that, we're gonna be stressing both syllables. And in that scenario, you definitely wanna rhyme both parts. So I'm looking for double perfect rhymes with crawl space. That would be considered a spondy rhyme scheme, double syllable emphasis. First thing I thought of when I thought of crawl space would be Harry Potter. Uh, Harry Potter's on the wall back there. Uh, Harry Potter, of course, in the first movie is relegated to the confines of the crawl space underneath the stairwell. Uh, see, that's, that's the thing, stairwell. You can stare well, there's wordplay there. Uh, stare well with your eyes. You wanna create the visual for this piece of lyricism right here. Just, just this specific part. It doesn't have to be the entire song, but just this part. You wanna see with your eyes the scene that you want to draw for the viewer. The first rhyme that I thought of for crawl space is Scarface. And Harry Potter happens to have a scar on his face, even though uh, Scarface is a different movie. So there's possible uh, connection we can do there with lyricism. Wand rhymes with crawl, scar. See, they don't have to be perfect rhymes as long as they sound similar in your pronunciation. So the kind, the way I'm gonna spin this is like crawl space, scar face, y'all wait, wand, like they all kind of sound together. Even if you were to pronounce them separately, they might not. So the versatility of these words is really up to the way that you pronounce them. Don't do anything too cringy though. The crawl space is a locale in our song. And that lends itself to saying, I'm gonna send you to the crawl space. Or you could flip it and say, I'm living in the crawl space. The versatility of this language allows us to use the crawl space locale as either a defensive mechanic or an aggressive mechanic. So what that means is if it's defensive, then I'll say, haters wanna send me down to the crawl space. And I kind of use that as like, I'm the underdog, I'm going against the mold and stuff like that. Or you can say that you're so good, you're such a, a good warlock, oh, I like that warlock, that you, that you send rappers to the crawl space. So it really depends on the context of where we're coming from and where we're going after that particular lyric. So we're gonna save that when we build around it. I've been digging a lot of Shin Lim lately. He's a... Uh, kind of reminds me of Harry Potter a bit with his presentation and his close-up magic skills. He is a definitely uh, warlock of dark magic. So I'm going to uh, put those words in here. And again, you're just, you're creating your repository of words here for you to use. You don't have to use all of them, but the fact that they are present and available to you allows you to string on your thought process and the train of thought. Something I noticed about Shin Lim is that his first name is a body part that is on a limb. The second part of his name. Shin is a part of your leg. So if you would like to use those two words and play off of the fact that they are both parts of the body, my hands craft darker magic than Shin limb. Here's the thing, Shin and limb, they are both parts of the body, but if you were to use them both in a sentence, it is unlikely that you would be able to keep those two words together. What I'm going to do is prove that there is a way for you to arrange the sentence to have it not only end in shin limb, but keep those two words together. So what is your shin limb? Well, that would be your leg. So let's find a way to use shin limb as a synonym to replace the word leg if we were to use it in a sentence. My hands craft darker magic than shin limb, stomping out magicians with the power of my shin limb. Now we have to find things that rhyme with shin limb because similar to crawl space, it is a compound word consisting of two syllables and we stress both of them. So that would be a spondy rhyme scheme. A resource that I like to use is rhymebrain.com. Uh, kind of saves me the time of thinking of all of the rhymes for Shin when I could just look them up and see them right in front of my face. Really streamlines the process for me. Thick skin, I like that. Let's write that down. Sing hymns. Kingpin. Uh, ring in could be an internal rhyme. Ink pen. Sink in. 
big grin. These should be conjuring images for you. If you can see a connection between the image you've already written and the images and the rhymes that you're looking for, then that's something worth pursuing. If not, then just write it down and save it for later. Okay, I kind of have this idea since I'm saying that like, you know, my hands are powerful, my legs are powerful. I'm talking about my whole body here. So maybe I could say something like, um, like I carry all this wisdom um, throughout my thick skin. My hands craft darker magic than shin limb. Stomping out magicians with the power of my shin limb. I carry all this wisdom in my thick skin. Spitting fire in the choir like I'm about to sing hymns. Okay, I think that that might not connect too well. So I'm gonna make that the first line of the next quatrain. And instead, you see how I had to abbreviate the third line because the second line is a little bit long. You make your concept fit the parameters of the instrumental. I know a lot of rappers would prefer to just run out the words just to make their one idea connect to the other. I kind of prioritize keeping my lyricism cool and calculated in a way that makes sure everything is pronounced properly and emphasized where necessary and that you're hearing all of the different elements come together and flow and they can breathe with each other. We're gonna need a, a connector right here. I like this idea of a kingpin being the leader of an organization or a cartel, if you've ever seen Breaking Bad uh, particularly. But another way that we can use the word king is with cards. And definitely on the topic of cards, using this reference to close-up magician Shin Lim. So it's very relevant for us to continue with that verbiage. Again, look for words that are relevant to your concept at the moment. Right now, we're, we're gonna use cards. We're, we're, we have the kingpin line at the end because a kingpin can be associated with a cartel and a dealer is a word that is also associated with that. Uh, a dealer could also be the person who deals cards in a game of poker. So that's a double entendre right there for us to use. Do I wanna add a reference to how I'm like a psychic, like I'm de dealing out tarot cards? Two, one. My hands craft darker magic than shin limb Stomping out magicians with the power of my shin limb I carry all this wisdom in my thick skin Dealing out tarot cards, call me the kingpin I'm gonna change like the kingpin to call me the kingpin Maybe I don't need this line about singing hymns. We're talking about magic with Shin Lim, but obviously we have Harry Potter. So we're definitely gonna wanna connect these two ideas. Saying my hands craft darker magic than Shin Lim is a good introduction to the magic rhetoric. So I'm gonna put the Harry Potter stuff beneath that. So you are already thinking of magic when I bring up Harry Potter without necessarily mentioning Harry Potter's name, to taint their palate so that you prompt a specific intended thought with the viewer. That is a key element of comedy, allowing the viewer to draw conclusions because of that added context that you began it with. Since I am in th this part of the rap where I am talking highly of myself, that we're gonna use that crawl space analogy as an active aggressive thing instead of a passive defensive one. I carry wisdom in my thick skin. I could also do that and make wisdom part of the rhyme scheme if I pronounce it right. My hands craft darker magic than shin limb. Stop my nap magician with my power on my shin limb. I carry wisdom in my thick skin. Dealing out tarot cards, call me the kingpin. Uh, I don't want to say let it sink in. It's kind of a, a cop out. And we don't want to use like obscure words like shawl and scrawl. Urethral, no. <laughs> Ethanol, not really. Don't forget, if this doesn't give you what you're looking for, there are other words that sound like crawl, but would not be um, programmed to be recognizable as a rhyme with crawl. So you can look up the word draw and get an entire new library of words to use. So jaw, I like jaw, it has to do with rapping. We can use that. Palm break or jaw break? That's gonna depend on our context. I'll give you a small taste. Uh, don't care what the law states. Make a sound like King Kong makes. I love how I'm now receiving advertisements for poker. That is um, a little dystopian. Right time, wrong place. There you go, a la flambe. Remember, we're trying to maintain this magic idea as well, too. I swing my wand, then voila, I draw flames. Serving up fresh spells. A la flambe.
Now this last line, I'm kind of going to move it around a little bit so that I can fit more in the fourth line. I'll give the haters a small taste. Then I banish them to the crawl space with a scarred face. I swing my wand and voila, I draw flames Serving up fresh spells out of flambe I give the haters a small taste Then I banish them to the crawl space with a scarred face Okay, a little bit rough there, so let's clean that up. We're gonna have to start this song somehow, and it's gonna be arbitrary, it's gonna be random. Let's just listen to how this starts. I kinda like following the synth for at least the beginning of it, so it's like... Hi! Da -da -da -da. Kind of mouth out the, the flow that you're looking for and then kind of fit words into that. So let's just start by saying hi. Hi. We can also look everywhere for inspiration. Um, the name of these chords are called hang tight chords. So why don't not just say hang tight? The beat is kind of cheery. So let's follow that, but then turn it on its head like any good rap would. So hi, I'm a generous guy. The something something benevolent type. Hi, I'm a generous guy, the kind of lender helping hand benevolent type. But when I grab the mic, you better. But when I grab the mic, you better run for your life. So sit back and enjoy the ride, but hang tight. Uh, I I like the idea of like pausing and then just going into something. So like I'm a roller coaster. Hang tight. I'm a roller coaster with potent emotions woven. Like, you're gonna need a potion or ibuprofen. Not only can we look for rhymes with emotion, but we can look for rhymes with dose, or prose, or things that have that long O sound because they can be our internal rhymes. You might go comatose, diagnose. See how these are all relevant words that have to do with intoxicating you with some kind of rap virus? We're kind of following that train of thought right here. I'm a roller coaster and I do this to you and you go comatose, you need you need potions and ibuprofens, but then you realize that you were the placebo and I'm in control. Then you find out that you were the placebo in the control group. See, I love toying with the viewer's expectations because you're talking about intoxicating with this rap virus and then and then all of a sudden it's like surprise you were just a placebo kind of thinking outside the box and being mischievous with the, with the wordplay trying to oppose me is verboten we also have to avoid certain tripping letters like l especially it's going to be tough to say this line if we don't consider the need to actually pronounce the words in real time when we record so you have to watch the way that we write as well hi i'm a generous guy the kind of lender helping hand benevolent type but when i grab the mic you better run for your life so sit back and enjoy the ride but hang tight it's a roller coaster of potent emotions the, the pose me is remote and then you find out you were the placebo i'm controlling okay that's how we end that line get to know the flow and something it because opposing is verboten. With the words that I've woven, with the words that I've woven, you might go comatose. See, I don't think that placebo line's gonna fit with what I have so far. Do we extend it or do we abbreviate what I've written to make it fit and then move on to another idea? These are executive decisions that you have to be able to make. Roller coaster of potent emotions. Get to know the flow in the door because opposing is verboten. With the words that I've woven, you might go comatose. So grab the potions and the ibuprofen while I spit the diagnosis. We have to extend this concept another eight lines in order to make the placebo the punchline. Notice how this entire time we were rapping at somebody. There is an imaginary figment who is the subject of all of our nefarious deeds. And that's kind of the way uh, braggadocio rap is written. You're just kind of assuming that there is a hater that you are directing all of your verbiage at. It instills this level of drama and also kind of puts you on a pedestal and not to say that you're above the viewers but it allows the viewers to sympathize with you being high above that pedestal so that they too feel like they are above on a pedestal it's kind of a subliminal thing but really what it does is it allows you to write every rap that you do as if it were a diss rap pick an imaginary punching bag uh, i think a viable method to try spit the diagnosis i'm so sick I like to say, like, let me just say, like, here's a diagnosis. I'm so sick. Like, just, just saying it like that. My raps are so sick. The doctor could go into intense detail. I'm just so sick that they just can't do it anymore. One thing we need to do before we move on is we need to fill this question mark space. Notice how we need a word that 
is a synonym for love or adore, but rhymes with flow. How about get to know the flow and take notes? Get to know the flow and take note of it, cause opposing is verboten. Get to know the flow and take note of it, cause opposing is verboten. With the words that I've woven, you might go comatose. So grab the potions and the ibuprofen while I spit the diagnosis. I'm so sick. Notice how as soon as I go into that kind of corny reveal in these next set of eight bars, I drop the synth and it's just the bass. That allows me to change my mood with the instrumental. And I'm gonna keep it like that until I'm ready to change and go back. Dosage. Okay, this was a little bit complicated because the last line has to feed from the line before it. I'm so sick. So you better load up on your doses. You're gonna catch this rap kids cold quick only to discover that you're grouped in the placebo while I'm controlling. So I'll laugh in the background and then I'll mimic the flow of the first four bars here. It's an omen of what's to come in this showbiz. You better keep your ears and your eyes open. Maybe we say like it's devolving so much that before you know it, we're all gonna be speaking in emoji. It's an old man of what's to come in this showbiz. You better keep both your ears and your eyes open cause before you know it, we will all be speaking in emoji. That's when the synth has to come back right there. So we'll bring that in and then we'll just keep going with the lyrical showcase for now and then find a way to link it with what we wrote a little bit earlier. And then we will have a wrap once we conclude from there. You know, we're not gonna make this too long. Um, this has probably taken me longer than it would to normally write a song just because I have to also add color commentary, so. Unsurpassed as a perfect rhyme and stuck on fast. Become unmasked. And then Matt will be unsurpassed when all the fake rappers become unmasked. All right, we just tidied that up. Let's see how that flows with the lines before it. You better keep both the ears and your eyes open cause before you know it, we will all be speaking in emoji. And then Matt will be unsurpassed when all the fake rappers become unmasked. I'm gonna make a diss track, put them all on blast and they can't slow me down cause I'm stuck on fast. All right, I have this idea of kind of making myself a little bit vulnerable in this part and acknowledging I get a habit of writing too deep and some will, some will scoff, some will love it and some will laugh. Some will applaud it and some will laugh. I got a habit, habit of bars that are tough to catch. Scoff at it, but watch as they tip their cap. You know, people will scoff at me and say that, you know, uh, this is too complicated for me. I don't like it, but if I do something really cool, they'll say, wow, that was cool. And uh, I get that a lot. So I wanted to acknowledge that. Uh, looks like we have a lot so far. We only need to close out the end of this rap. Then I banish them to the cross space and give them a scarred face. You're in the wrong place at the right time. So pass the mic. I phrase haters got them looking like a pantomime. You're in the wrong place at the right time. So right here, I'm gonna stretch out my bars. I'm gonna make four really long ones out of eight bars and then wrap up this song at the end. I'm gonna use the rhyme scheme for pass the mic. It's really easy, but also gives me a chance to use words like pantomime and then come up with other ones. Let's see what else they have on here. They're not gonna give me a complete perfect rhyme for pantomime on a website like Rhyme Brain. So I'm gonna have to use my brain. Phantomine, Brandywine. So I actually did a rap recently where I used the rhyme scheme, glass of wine. So get some of the glass of wine. I'm like grade A me, you're past your prime. And I'll ask real nice, please pass the mic or I'll slap some fines in the neck. How high eating grass all night, trying to call it a feast. So I'm gonna try to take this in a different direction and not use any of those rhymes for past the mic. Classic lines. I kind of have this idea of saying like, I want you to pump up the music, but not too loud. So why don't you crank to nine? That is fine. Every scallywags got a rap doppelganger. I'm just trying to have fun at this point. <laughs> just draw from what you know, you know? Every single person has their own unique perspective based on what they experience in their everyday. And the fact that I can come up with something that I know nobody else is going to have the same exact perspective on is enough to say that I successfully wrote something. I really like to eat taters, so why not just <laughs> drop them in some random cipher, you know? I freeze haters like some microwave taters, got their hands up high looking like a pantomime. Every single scallywag's got a rap doppelganger, and I think I'm about to channel mine. So I'm gonna keep dropping classic lines every day and night. Watch me smacking fives with every fan of mine. So I'm gonna keep dropping classic lines every day and night. Watch me smacking fives with every fan of mine. So I'm gonna drop out the beat 
for a dramatic effect. One thing we wanna do when we do these dramatic pauses is to add some kind of a riser effect and then a big crash that comes down. This explosion effect is also good for transitioning between the parts of your instrumental. Notice how I'm putting it every time I take instruments in or out. I think we are good to go. Now it's time to record our song. We pretty much have the entire thing written out. We're gonna discover a lot about our lyrics while we record. There's gonna be things that we can't pronounce exactly correctly parts of the instrumental that we need to buffer with reaction sounds like O oh, or A to make sure that there is proper pacing between our parts. So we're gonna record this right now and then we're gonna play the final product. Let's hit it. Hi, I'm a generous guy. The kind of lend a helping hand benevolent time But when I grab the mic you better run for your life So sit back and enjoy the ride But hang tight, it's a roller coaster of potent emotions Get to know the flow and take note of it Cause opposing is potent With the words that I've woven you might go comatose So grab your potions and the ibuprofen while I spit the diagnosis <laughs> I'm so sick so you better load up on your dosage You're gonna catch this rap kids call quick Only to discover that you're grouped in the placebo I'm controlling uh, It's an omen, yeah, of what's to come in this showbiz You better keep both your ears and your eyes open Cause before you know it we will all be speaking in emoji And then that will be unsurpassed When all the fake rappers become unmasked I'm gonna make a diss track, put them all on blast And they can't slow me down cause I'm stuck on fast I got a habit of bars that are tough to catch some will applaud it, but some will laugh and scoff at it But watch as they tip their cap when I pull a rap rabbit out of my hat Like my hands craft darker magic than Shin Lim Stomping out magician with the power of my Shin Lim I carry wisdom in my thick skin Dealing out tarot cards, call me the kingpin I swing my wand and voila, I draw flames Serving up fresh spells out of flambe I give the haters a small taste Then I banish them to the crawl space and give them a scarred face You're in the wrong place at the right time So I'm gonna have to ask you to pass the mic, I I freeze haters like some microwave painters Got their hands up high looking like a pantomime Mark, see every single scallywag's got a wrapped doppelganger And I think I'm about a channel mine So I'ma keep dropping classic lines every day and night Watch me smack and fight with every fan of mine I hope that this gave you a lot of insight into the mind of a writer and allows you to open your mind to become a better writer. I think the main takeaway is to choose words with a specific purpose, not only because they rhyme, but because they are relevant to the context of the moment in your rap. There is so much out there and it's your job to take it all, condense it and boil it down into one coherent piece. But you can really take it wherever you want as long as it winds up being coherent in the end, that's your key. If you enjoyed this and you would like to see more of the process of how I make my raps and then actually get to see them before they go public on YouTube, you can find one of these and then 11 more and then for an entire year, you can be a part of the Chiseler's Club. And you can be part of the process of every single rap that I make. Let me know what you want to see next. And as always, I'm Matt Forio. And that's all Forio today. <laughs>